hey what's up everyone so this is a real quick tutorial on customizing a few of the things in PyCharm now in case if you want to change the theme then how you could do that and if you want to change theme to another theme then go to file then go to settings go to editor then you can see colors and fonts here in this option and you can see there there is one name there's one uh, language name just called Python go to this and here this is scheme which you want to apply now I want Dracula if I want something github or whatever monokai or something go apply it see your theme has been changed now in case if you want to change the font size let me type something print to asterisk to Okay, now in case if you want to uh, change your font size in PyCharm, uh, go to settings, go to editor, there's an option called as colors and fonts, go here and the top there is a font name. Now you need to save it to your own customized name, this font. Now let me keep it as uh, my name. Cool. Now you can set your theme like font size to 20 to 25 to whatever you want to 30. You can set, I think the best is 16. It's really cool and really easy to see. You can change the line spacing if you want. The line spacing should be more. It spaces your line. Keep it 1.5. I think best is to default one, which is 1.1. So then, okay see your font size has been changed now one more thing which is left is now most of the coders have a sideline number here so that they could really uh, see where the error has been occurred now for that uh, for the sidelines uh, what what have to do what you have to do is go to file again on settings then let me close this now editor you can see there is an option uh, called as general and then there's appearance here now show line numbers check this check this line number and then apply okay now you can see there's uh, the side line number which uh, which will be really helpful for you to uh, really judge like where the header has a now so every time you do something there's a side line number you know. Yeah, that's it. How you could customize your uh, pie charm. I hope I hope this tutorial has really helped you. Thank you.